Hello y'all, set to achieve. Uh, and today we're talking about the mother wound and this is in relationship with the male narcissist and narcissistic personality disorder, okay? Please, if you're new to my channel, I put out videos. I try to put out um, at least a video a day and I put out a lot of shorts, not a video a day, a, a video a week, um, a couple of videos a week. Um, I try to be, I've been trying to be more um, active with my posts. And um, today we're talking about the male narcissist and the mother, the mother wound. Please, if you're new to my channel, like this video, subscribe, share, and leave your comments. Okay? So what is a mother wound? Um, if you're unfamiliar with narcissistic personality disorder, um, this is a um, condition. I actually see it more as a spiritual condition, um, deficit as well, um, whereby these people feel like they have been abandoned by God. A lot of them are atheists, even the ones that um, appear to be very religious. They are atheists because... Um, because they abuse their victims behind the scenes, behind closed doors, okay? They're cowards. They love um, validation from others. They love to be praised and worshipped. They, they love to be um, looked at as, as um, the prime and, uh, um, you know, as good people. But... Um, behind closed doors, we know that they're abusive and they are very destructive. Now, when it comes to the male narcissists, a lot of them have mother wounds. Okay, I just put out a short this morning. Um, it was um, it was a duet with another um, content creator, and she was it was on TikTok, but I you know um, put it here on YouTube as well, and um, it was talking about the male narcissist and his mother. Male narcissists have a mother wound. Um, they were abandoned by their mothers. Um, there was a lot of blurred lines when they were growing up. Um, a lot of boundaries that were um, smeared, um, you know, and um, a lot of them were neglected. Um, a lot of them actually have a secret hatred for their mothers. But because they're cowards and because they still need their mothers, a lot of them um are very codependent narcissists generally are very codependent so a lot of them are very codependent on their mothers so they will not come out to their mothers and say how they feel um but there's a very strong love hate relationship um between the narcissist and the mothers and um what actually caused the narcissist um, the narcissist to, to become a narcissist is because due to the um, offenses that they were, uh, that was committed against them, um, for a lot of them by their mothers, um, and especially when it ties in with a male narcissist because um, they felt neglected, because they um, uh, felt um, abandoned, because they felt like um, the love that they um, so desperately needed was not given to them they um hold that grudge and we know that narcissists are very um unforgiving um even like for very like seemingly foolish and very minute things they hold you um they can hold you um in uh unforgiveness for years okay so these people have a lot of psychological problems and they have a spiritual problem um, they have a, a problem of unforgiveness and this has caused um, a lot of the demons that are manifesting in them um, and through them to destroy other people um, because the Bible says that um, you know at, that, that, that will be forgiven you know as we forgive those who trespass that means who sin against us that's how we get our forgiveness that's how we get cleansed Okay, that's how we can move forward. But a lot of the narcissists are trapped in the past because they refuse to move forward and they refuse to um, forgive. So they hold on to a lot of things that keep them in the past. Um, and they can't, go, so they're stagnant and they can't move forward. 
um, unless they're able to um, get that deliverance and um, and release those people. Okay, so um, the narcissist is very codependent with their mothers, and they will tag team with their mothers um, to destroy other people, especially um, people that they're dating, people that they get married to. Um, and it's a very, um, very tragic situation because um, for a lot of the people, especially the women that come into their lives, um, unsuspecting victims, they come in and trust in the mother and um, and the mother is threatened by these people because she's she is um, seeking validation from her son. Um, a lot of them start... Um, being abusive and, and, and being start like almost like trying to take off take a lot of them start try to start taking the wife role role um when it comes to um when their son starts dating you know like for occasions that the son is supposed to 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 go to they want to go with the son you know weddings and 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 picnics and stuff they want to be the ones to make the decisions about what food to bring and what you know so it, it's a very so for for people that are dating these people and realize that this is not a normal situation um you know and, and you might find some that you know when they're married and the mother comes she wants to sleep in the bed with the son or in between the both of them it, it's a very very um like a lot of the private stuff that they experience, like that victims of these people and seeing the dynamics with their mothers, um, a lot of the things that they experience is very, very um, disturbing, okay? And um, the mother covers up for the son, you know, and they're both narcissists. The mother is a narcissist and, and that's why the son became a narcissist because he got it from the mother. Um, she's seeking his validation and he's codependent as well. He's wounded, but at the same time, he's an abuser um, because rather than forgiving and seeking healing um, so that he can go on and move on and to be a healer, um, he's stuck on and held on to the, um, to the abuse and, um, and it's just a hot mess. So, um, so as the dynamics of the relationship goes on and he gets, you know, he, you know, he, he's not healed. Um, he's dragging somebody else into the, the, the mess and his mother is there. They're tag teaming um, to destroy this other person, okay? So rather than, you know, so so when you're with a narcissist, especially with a male narcissist, you have to understand that these people are in silent competition with you, okay? You are in a silent competition, okay? So as their female partner, as their wife, their spouse, their girlfriend. Um, you're supposed to be protected. They're supposed to be, you know, provided for. You're supposed to be catered for. But you won't get any validation validation from them or any sincere validation. Um, you will feel like you are um, in a constant competition. You're, you're constantly seeking validation. Um, they will love bomb you. That's the reason why you stayed in the first place. But eventually, you're going to see the dynamics playing out, especially with his mother. Um, you're going to see that... Um, um, you have to seek the mother's approval for things that don't even concern her, you know, and it's worse when you have children because, um, now the, 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 the mother, you know, the, um, narcissist mother, um, will try to play games to tr turn your kids, your children against you, um, right along with her, her, um, toxic son. Okay. So, um, victims of this people will find themselves to be in a, um, be, be terrorized, be in a toxic environment, be in a prison, and not know from day to day if they're coming or going, okay? So this mother wound is a toxic, um, just messy salad. It, it's, it's just like, it, it's like a, a never-ending um, torment. It, it's like a never-ending story, okay? So, um, yes, the, the male narcissist, Definitely has a mother wound. His mother played a big role in the fact that he's actually a narcissist. Um, and she continues, um, rather than sick healing herself, but they don't sick healing because um, they're entitled and um, there is no accountability with these people. They don't, they don't think that there's anything wrong. They think that there's something wrong with you. So um, it, it's a never ending story of just destruction. Okay. So. I just wanted to just put out some, you know, um, insight on this 
um, whole dynamics of the male narcissist and the mother wound. Um, please, if you're new again to this channel, subscribe so that you can get more of my content and hit the notification bell so that you can get everything that I post, okay? Um, I'm going to try to be posting more often um, because I, I know that this information needs to be out there, okay? Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave your comments. I listen to your comments um, and they definitely help me and they help others as well, okay? Thank you for watching and until next time, peace.